Hello, everybody. I'm back again to do um, my second uh, thoughts after reading um, Arc World, Josh Blaylock's Arc World Volume 1 from Devil Do's Comics. I took a read of it today, and honestly, I really, really like it. I mostly, well, I, I, I love the artwork in it. It's very nice and well done. Has a decent storyline. And um, this is one part I really like is um, the thought behind this on how they actually moved some of the megalithic blocks. I, I like that res puck, residence frequency puck. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Flip the stones up and then kind of like carry them along character Seth he, he, he seems to be a little bit of a hothead and um, kind of does what he wants even though he almost just took himself out with one of those blocks uh, so far I'm really enjoying um, Seth and Cleto's journey so far and I'm I can't wait to get into the second volume which i do have and i will be posting should be posting a review of well an unboxing of that one um not too far after this one and then a little while after once i read that one then i'll do an, another review of what i you know thought of the story i'm not the best at uh reviewing literature of any kind i was never really good at the whole you know Plot, climax, and end thing, and explaining books and whatnot, or even comic books, or well, not comic books, graphic novels. So far, I'm really enjoying it. it has a good storyline. It's engaging. I'm not gonna, you know, go and read through it too much or anything because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But I just want to say it is worth a read, and. I think this is going to be an excellent series that is uh, based in theory of ancient civilizations and what the world was like before the before the Ice Age, before 10,000 BC, or you know around that area anyway. Era. I like uh, how it goes back and forth through time from the present to the past. I'm not exactly sure what is going on with the military part and this other family here, which seems like one of those really rich old families that kind of like, you know, New World Order kind of stuff. The, the whole dinner part with uh, Guido's mother was pretty funny. That, that, that made me laugh. I also like the inclusion of the Olmec civilization in there too. So you don't see too much about that. This here is one part that I kind of was wondering what was going on here. Is he like seeing through from the past into the future or something like that? Or what's going on there? Like kind of makes me think like two worlds are kind of mixing from the past and the future. But I guess we will see in volume two what's going on here and it kind of looks like uh, Seth has jumped into a different time kind of, yeah it's seeming like the future anyway I'm not uh, exactly up on how to do reviews on books or graphic novels I guess I'll have to do some research and uh, see what points I should be uh, focusing on on this so I can better do more when they come in up because I do have volume two and I'll be getting every subsequent volume after this as well. And I do have an, a nice little um, part to add in my next unboxing for volume two because I got a box to store them in and another piece that has to do with ancient aliens that I'm kind of excited to show. That was an add-on onto their second campaign for Volume 2. This has been my review on Volume 1 of Josh Blaylock's Arc World, The Dawn of an Archaeopunk Saga. Thank you very much 
you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing so I can continue on doing this. And I'll probably continue on doing this regardless. But, you know, every little bit helps and then I can, um, you know, start getting some more connections and get more items to review from different companies and bring you more and bring you more content. Thank you very much. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.